Right, here we go. Um, I've sort of finished this one. I've done a lot of experimenting with it. Um, it's costing me about one and a half watts, a bit of, in between one and two watts to run it. Um, the big difference here that's working real good is I'm using two switches. So positive and negative get switched in. The power the, can run back. When it runs back to the battery, it can go back that way. Or if there is extra power generated, I'm picking it up here by, um, with uh, diodes. And I boost it and put it back into the system. So it is, in a sense, making its own energy. Um, here is the... So we have magnets on the bottom. We have a polarity up, down, north at the top, south at the bottom. Um, and... That, so you can see the magnets on the bottom of the steel rod and it's floating on a magnet at the bottom. We're using a light sensor to switch it. There's our light. There's holes through the top of the plate. And it basically just floats there. So the concept's good and it could achieve high speed. I've used too thick a wire and I've got too many firing. They need to be... Um, three instead of six and doubles and then they would um, because it's doing like 30 hertz and the steel in the bolt starts to it has to fire six times every rev revolution so you know 30 hertz is five revolutions a second um, if we want to do 10 20 30 50 100 revolutions a second we need to be firing this bolt less often Anyway, um, yeah, so the concept's good. Just got to work on a few things and see what happens. Um, basically, uh, what else? What else can I tell you? Um, it's all pretty good. Here's the signal. This is DC power. So what we should be getting, we should only be getting from the line up. But this thing is giving back at the bottom. So that's um, put back into capacitors. And I've got a fair distance between the magnets because I tried, here's more magnets, so I can make it closer or further away. And this one runs nice and freely. But if I put the magnets closer, I get more back spike and I can run it at a lower, so it's using 1.2 watts or whatever now. I can run it at a lower cost. There's the battery that, and it tries to put power back, but it's still a little bit short. With only two of these coils driving it, it costs seven watts. So the more I put on, the cheaper it gets to run it. I am wondering if I keep putting more on, if eventually I'll get to the point where if I put another, if I double the amount that are there, put them double up, if it'll um, actually put power out. Because they, that, when I turned off, I'll show you, so I'm going to kill the power. This is the signal that's being um, captured, and you can see it goes flat on the bottom. So that's what's getting put back into the system. And this thing and the light bulb are draining whatever energy is in there. So that's sort of what's being captured. A little dip in the bottom of the wave. Um, and you can see here the capacitor. The capacitor's still at 5 volts. And it's dropping down. So this thing is continuously making power. Putting it back into the system. If I get those closer it makes more power but at the same time it starts more drag what happens is the this bolt i've got them too far apart from that center one on this the magnetism should be flowing from the top back down you know because it, it's in that hole everything's aligned north south north south so yeah, it's interesting the way that it all, it wants to work too, it just love. it wants to flow, it wants to do it. Anyway, we'll see what happens, I'll keep playing with it. I might have to build another 12 of these. We'll see. Alright.
No worries.